Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Colin and today we're going to do a playthrough of Commissioned. This is a game designed by Patrick and Catherine Laysot and published by Chara Games. Commissioned is a historically themed cooperative board game with a simple deck building mechanic that plays in about an hour. Players will act as early Christian apostles and must work together to strengthen your faith deck, grow the church, and collect the books of the New Testament, Testament and overcome the trials. I've wanted to for a long time to showcase this game. I just hadn't gotten to it. But what's really cool about this game is I think even if you take the theme out, the game itself is really cool. Think of it kind of like the opposite of Pandemic. Because in Pandemic, you're trying to take care of diseases on the board. Here, what you're trying to do is spreading the church. So you have these cubes that represent the church members, and you're going to be spreading them across the board. So it's like the opposite of Pandemic, which is kind of fun. The board itself is also two-sided. So this is the side A, and here we have side B. And it's so big, I can't even put it on. Uh, I can't even fit in my entire screen. Sorry about that. Down here, you can see the books of the New Testament that we'll be trying to collect throughout the game. We're also going to be using side A, not side B, because side B, there's only one scenario that uses it. The other four use side A. And so I'm really hoping that at some point they'll come out with an expansion, but they have said that they just don't have enough people that know about the game. So I'm hoping this might pique your interest. And if it does, go check it out and maybe we can convince them to build us an expansion. <laughs> Just like normal, what we're going to do is the setup video here, and then we'll do the playthrough going forward. I am going to do this as a solo experience, but I will say I do think overall I like this game as a cooperative experience better, and you'll see why when we go through the playthrough. I'll explain that. Let's jump in. The first thing you want to do is pick out which scenario you want to play. The game comes with five. The first one is called the Acts of the Apostles. I think that's the one that we're going to do for this playthrough. This scenario overviews the spread of Christianity as recorded in the New Testament. Ranging from 33 to the mid-90s AD, the apostles overcame religious, ethnic, cultural, and political boundaries in their desire to share to the good news. Spread with earnest pleading instead of at the tip of the sword, the spread and tenacity of which the church expanded testify both to the willingness of the apostles to endure hardship and to God's miraculous work. The books of the New Testament covers the spread of the church through the eastern half of the Roman Empire. So this tells you you're using board A. On this side of the scenario sheet, it says setup. Board side A, place the apostles, missionaries, and six church members in Jerusalem. There are no special rules. Our victory conditions is we must have a church in every city, and then we have to collect all nine New Testament word cards. Failure, this is what it would mean. The Roman Empire never adopts Christianity. After choosing your scenario sheet, you'll want to choose which of the six apostles that are available in the game to play. We can either do Peter, John, uh, Barnabas, Andrew, James, or Paul. So we're going to do Paul and James. Here we have Paul's player board. Now on the player board itself, there really isn't anything that is Paul specific other than the art, but here just gives you this nice order of play, which is great. Just a little flavor text. And then over here, this tells you which type of card that Paul has in his deck. So each of the apostles has their own six cards that they'll use. So Paul's six cards all have this missionary stop icon on it and you can remove one of those within a region. James cards on the other hand allow us to do a move action. We're going to place our two apostles here in Jerusalem. Paul is blue and James is green. We'll also place four missionaries here and we call them missionary meeples. <laughs> These uh, four missionary meeples in Jerusalem. This game's designed so that you will have missionaries and apostles equal to six every time you start playing the game. So since we're only playing with two apostles, we get four missionaries. But if I was playing with four apostles, we'd only get two missionaries. We'll also place six church members as well. And church members are these white cubes. And the remaining white cubes are going to go here. And actually, I don't know if they did this or not, but this makes me think a little bit of freedom. <laughs> the Underground Railroad, where the slaves are these white cubes, or, uh, or wooden cubes. Here, the church are cubes as well. Now, our goal is we have to have a church in every city, in every region. That's one of the things we need to do. As long as there's a church member 
in a location, so let's say here in Gaza, that would be a church that's been established there. So we have to get church members on the entire board before the game is done, otherwise we lose. Next, we have to set up the trial deck. Now to do that, we separate the trial cards into three different types. These type over here are considered the hard trial cards. These ones over here are the easy trial cards. And these ones are always in the deck no matter what. So we're going to play at a harder level. I just think it's more fun that way. So we'll place the hard trial cards with the general uh, trial cards and remove these ones from the game. This is our timer. If ever this runs out and we have not completed our objectives, we lose the game. Also, if you're playing with four or more people, dependent upon the chart that's on the back of the rulebook, you might have to remove a couple of these trial cards, and that just means you have to do more in less time. But with a two-player game, since I'm playing with two apostles, we don't remove any. So I'll just give these a shuffle and place them on the board. We'll place the trial cards right here. One other way that we could lose this game is if we ever have a church that's on the board and the last church member is removed from it, we've essentially lost a church. If we do that, we snuff out one of our five candles here. If all five candles have been snuffed out, we also lose the game. So the two ways to lose is the trial deck runs out or all five of the candles get snuffed out. The next step will be setting up your faith cards. Now, each faith card has a cost. One, two, three, and four, and they're each separated in different piles. What we're going to do is we start out, remember, each of the apostles has their own set of six cards, and then we're each going to get dealt a random two cards from this Faith 2 deck here. So I'll do that off camera and give two to Paul and two to James. Otherwise, the remaining cards here, I will shuffle them up and place them on top of the board, and then during the mature phase of the game, what we do is we can use some of the cards that are in our hand to purchase these. And that's the deck building portion of the game. So here we have James and Paul. These are the level two faith cards. I'm just going to randomly shuffle them up, give one, two to James and one, two to Paul. We'll then place those faith decks right here, one for each of the faith levels. Our final step will be drawing and arming ourselves with six of our eight cards. So we're almost going to have our entire deck in our hand to start the game for each of our apostles. Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five, and six for Paul, and then James. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We also need to determine who's going to be the first player or what we call the elder apostle. We're going to have Paul be that. So this round, everything that we play for our faith cards will be in relation to where Paul is. But after this round, then we'll pass this over to James. And then James will be the elder uh, apostle. So that's kind of your first player token. To add just a little bit of difficulty, we are going to add the messenger die. This will be just making it a little bit more challenging depending on what we roll. It honestly is better for cooperative play, but I like doing it for solo just because if we do roll a 1 or a 2, we might have different things happen to us to make it a little bit harder. And that is the setup for commissioned. The theme of this game really speaks to me. It's something that I uh, really enjoy and appreciate. So I decided, you know what, I'd like to have more people know about the game if possible. So that's why I wanted to showcase it. And don't feel like if you're not into the theme, you can't enjoy the game because you're going to see the mechanics are pretty solid. I mean, they are a little bit older, but they're overall pretty solid mechanics. And I do really think there's a good game here just in general, taking the theme out. So I'd be really interested to know, even if this theme does not speak to you at all, if you do find this interesting. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you at the next stop.